If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to another player review. Shakiri has been given a special card for the second time this FIFA. And he's barely graced the pitch in real life. I'm not complaining though because I'm a Liverpool fan and I couldn't be happier with them giving someone like Shakiri a, a card. A winter refresh, it ain't, um, if that makes any sense. The promo to me should be players who have done well so far that deserve an upgrade, right? Shakiri's not really one of them, but as it's a league SBC and a Liverpool player, I'll let it slide. Five star skills, four star weak foot, medium, medium. Bit of a shame it's not high medium. I'm pretty sure he was last year. Five seven, left footed, of course, we know this. His other card, incidentally, is a footmas card. That was 84 rated. Ironically, I don't have that on this account, so I'm quite glad that they've given... I don't know if that's not ironic, really, is it? I've got it on the wrong account, really. But either way, um, significant upgrade from, from that footmas card. So if you did do the footmas and you're thinking to yourself, ah, I don't really care about this, I think you, you might want to look at it if you if you like the Shakiri card because it, it's gone up by 9 in terms of pace. He's up by four in dribbling, shooting, passing, uh, five in defending, and only two physical, which is a bit of a cop-out if you ask me. They could easily have given him five in physical. No one would have batted an eyelid, and then he would have had stamina that would have lasted him the entire game. 82 stamina isn't terrible, but it's on the sort of edge of, uh, will he be able to cope the full 90? And that's what we're going to find out. So 95 acceleration, 88 sprint speed is very good. Shot power is insane. Long shots are good. Last year, of course, I loved his screen card for maybe three months when uh, time finesses from the edge of the area were just king. They were the be-all and end-all. That's how you scored goals, and I loved it. Then they patched it and ruined the game completely, and Shakiri became useless. But I digress. Uh, let's move on to his passing, which is very good, 88. Uh, wingers often get bad passing you know they they often come in with um i don't know if i've got where is he Mane, 81 83 for Mane, and he's an 88 rated card if we flip it back over 88 short passing 87 it's just um it's it's just a thing that happens you know that ea always give bad passing to wingers uh, his dribbling across the board is absolutely fantastic his agility is is is, is good it could be better we're not actually going to improve it it could be better but because he's 5 7 he has 89 ball control, and he's got 95 acceleration. I've got a funny feeling he's going to feel fine on the ball. Like we've touched on the stamina, good strength for a winger as well, especially one of 5'7". The team I've got him in is, well, that one right there. I've been using that recently. I used it to review Madison. I've been playing with Jamie Vardy, trying to get a video for him done. Uh, put Hadji in the middle there. I could maybe fill it with Liverpool players. I've got quite a few of them, but I'll just I'll stick to that for now. Um, chem style-wise... This 100% depends on where you want to play him. He's going to be my left-sided striker. So we're not going to get to... Oh, I need to go buy the chem style, which is a bit annoying. You could put a sniper on if you want to improve the agility and whatnot. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather make sure his passing is on point. So that's why we're going to give him a dead eye. Um, I, I said left-sided striker. I think I'm actually going to play him as a right-sided striker. Just because then we can maybe cut in on the on the left foot and go for goal. Like trying some finesse shots from the edge. Because they can be quite effective. But what I've done there with the dead eye is bump up the finishing by 15. The attack position is up to 95 now. We bumped up the shot power. The long shots go up as well. So his, his shooting from distance should be the best it possibly can. Or there or thereabouts anyway. Long shots being 96. We're not too far off. Uh, good short passing there now at 98. I mean near perfect. 87 vision as well. And we can cross the ball if we wish to do so. The dribbling stats across the board, as I say, should be enough. They should be good enough to see us through. And uh, with Shakiri now coming in from the right uh, onto that left, uh, maybe we'll get some, some nice sort of finesse goals into the far corner. If it's not working, I'll switch back to left-sided striker. But without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. First opponent has been busy. He's picked up the Osimhen. He did the uh, SBC for Tierney. He's got a few icons in there. Messi, why not? Did Kenny Lala. That is a very strong team. He's given it to Vardy, who plays it inside to Shakiri. Back to Jamie Vardy. And it's off the outside of the post. Jamie Vardy, since the upgrade, for me, has been terrible. Shakiri has done well to play a good ball through to him. He put it on a plate. He should have scored by all rights, and he's missed. 
And now all of a sudden, Kubo up against Trent. Ball comes to Mane. Don't think he meant to do that. Here's Vardy back to Mane. Through to Shakiri. You want to take your time. It's a good ball. Left foot near post. Easy save from the keeper. And I tell you what, that's my fault. Absolutely nothing to do with Shakiri. I should have gone for a ball roll or just anything, really. Again, he's through the middle, though. He's on the weaker foot this time, and he scores. And like I said, first time round, it was my fault. I uh, I could have scored that, that goal easily. I sort of panicked. And I tend to do that a lot. Why didn't he interact with the corner flag? I tend to do that a lot with uh, players I'm reviewing. I sort of panic a little bit, and I don't... Um, I don't choose the right shot type or whatever, but there he is on the score sheet. Addison plays it to Vardy, back to Shakiri. Going to go around the outside here. He did not expect it. We're going to stop it. We're going to bring it back in. I want to get that shot from the edge, but he's not going to let me do it, is he? Is he? Oh, yeah, I tried my best. I mean, it was harder to lose the ball there than it was to... Hello, Madison with a header. It was harder to lose the ball... Um, than, than I thought it would be there. I wasn't trying to lose it, obviously, but I just I couldn't lose it, even though I was trying some really stupid stuff. I was just trying to get him on that left foot. There's Haji to Mane. I've sent Shakiri on a run. He started to go in naturally, to be fair. There he is with a hit from distance, and that is convincing, and that could be a rage quit. But what a convincing shot from Jordan Shakiri on the score sheet again, second time in the first half. That is a great bit of football. I'm waiting for Jamie Vardy. He's going to get it back here, Shakiri, And his strength is enough. I mean, his ball control is decent as well. He doesn't feel like super agile. And his acceleration is good. What I, what, not the, what I don't like about him. What I've noticed in the early stages... Oh, that's unlucky. What I've noticed in the early stages from him, though, is that his sprint speed isn't quite good enough. So what happens is he bursts through, he gets clear time and time again. Problem with it then, of course, is that he gets caught. The good thing about this card is that he has strength. Here's Madison. I love a bit of James Madison in the morning. Mane, Shakiri, back to Mane, who's got the pace to beat whoever puts in front of him. Near post, and it's a great goal. Mane with the agility, the skills, and the finish. Shakiri with the assist. Vardy through to Jordan Shakiri, who goes for the lob, misses it, but Mane gets on the end of it. Back to Mane, into Madison, up to Vardy, little back heel for Shakiri, round the corner for Mane, back to Shakiri, and that is a magnificent pass, passing move and a goal. Haji, Shakiri with a little one two here with Jamie Vardy, maybe? Yes. But we're going to have to come back round. And goal. And there's Shakiri's fourth, I think. Let's have a little look-see here. And it's another goal. Madison back to Robertson. Madison again. Mane. Rob. Oh, hello. Look at the lag on that. Is Shakiri for Morrison through the middle. What a goal that is for James Morrison. And I did a video on him the other day. He is absolutely class. His runs from midfield. Madison. Morrison? What the hell am I talking about? I was playing with someone earlier, and I was calling him something completely different as well. Madison. James Madison. Great interception by Kante. Ball comes through to Shakiri, Mane, Shakiri, Mane, Shakiri. It's superb stuff. And he should have scored. There is Morrison. I'm joking. It's Madison. And my, my opponent rage gets Madison with two goals. Shakiri involved in both. I think Shakiri should have scored with the initial effort but hey ho it is what it is madison is incredible still I, i'm just going to keep using him for the rest of the game that video wasn't just oh let me just quick quickly make it out that he's brilliant and make a video about him no he actually is superb shakiri is on the same level really shakiri surprised me i didn't think he'd be as good as he is but he's really really good it would be easy for me to be biased with this one, get carried away and tell you it's the best card in the game. I'm not going to do that. For me, you know, if, if the card is good, it's a bonus. It just so happens that I really enjoyed it. It's, it's a fun card to use, hence the reason why I put very fun as opposed to like very good or excellent in terms of the quality on the screen. But I I do really like it. And if you're, if you're a Liverpool fan in particular, you're going to love it. If you're not a Liverpool fan, I still think you can have some fun with it. I don't think it's a card realistically you you're going to want to go out and get just for the sake of having it if you do league sbc method happy days it's it's something else in there that you can pick up if you decide at the end of it you don't want to use him anymore you don't like him you don't get on with him you could just chuck it into an sbc happy days right but i wouldn't go out 
of my way to spend 200 and whatever it is, 20 on average, to go and, and get this card just for the sake of having it. You know, you get good packs back, of course you do. Well, reasonable packs. It's not as good as previous FIFAs, but still. Uh, but yeah, I, I would only do it if you're really going after the league and you want the packs as well as the card as a nice bonus at the end of it. In terms of the card itself... His natural finishing isn't great, so you are going to need to boost that with something. Unless, of course, you want to play him more as a, a cam, then maybe focus more on the passing. Uh, the stam slash sprint, what I have at the bottom there on the negatives, is when you get through on goal, he feels very quick until he takes maybe two or three touches, and then he starts to really slow down. There's one instance where the keeper comes out, he actually scores a banging finesse, but he's getting caught. He is slowing right down. The more the game goes on, the stamina starts to affect how quick he is off the mark, I think. Um, that's the only real negative with him. You know, I've got natural finishing in there as a problem. We've already addressed it. But in terms of the sprint speed, he doesn't feel as fast as he is in the first few strides. He just starts to slow down a lot. The, the saving grace is the strength is high on this type of card. So, again, if you want to bump that up even more, it's going to help him. But... I think bumping the, the sprint speed wouldn't be a bad idea. I, I was fine with the dead eye. I'm not going to change it. But just bear in mind, he will get caught. You know, a lot of players get caught in this game. The catch-up is real. But more so with Shakiri than anyone else I've used. But natural position is fantastic. His passing is insane. He's got incredible balance. Put a camp cell on him to improve the finishing. And that sort of natural finishing problem goes away. It, it's Overall, it's a great card. I do. I really like it. I am a big fan of it. it I'm really happy because obviously as a Liverpool fan I wanted it to be good I'm trying not to be biased towards it in any way if it's bad in game it doesn't alter the fact that Liverpool are top of the league do you know what I mean it, it's not that big a deal it's not that deep it's a video game I'm not biased towards him I just think it's a good card and a nice addition and an option for you completing the Premier League League SBC and there it is let me know what you think of the card in the comments. Are you going to go after this specifically just to get Shakiri, or do you do League SBC and this is a nice addition to the rewards? Let me know in the comments where you stand on it. If you have enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.